A very pleasant day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron de los Reyes. Today, we're coming to you from, well, a familiar place, which we have not visited for quite some time. And this is the Pawai San Dunes. Of course, we're here for the Isuzu D-Max test drive in Ilocos Norte. And uh, after an absence of quite some time, we are here at the famous Pawai San Dunes to test the D-Max on this very challenging terrain. We'll tell you more about this event later on in the show. In the meantime, let's take a look at our Auto News update. Also today on Auto Review, Nissan introduces its own sales company in the Philippines and launches the new Altima and Silphi. Suzuki unveils the FI Revolution motorcycles. On our What's New portion, we visit the Volkswagen showroom at Bonifacio Global City in Taguig. Topping our stories this week, global company Nissan Motor Company Limited takes the lead of managing the automotive brand in the Philippines by introducing Nissan Philippines Incorporated or NPI as its national sales company. With this new structure, the company remains to recognize Nissan Motor Philippines Incorporated or NMPI and Universal Motors Corporation UMC as their important partners in the Philippines. Both will continue to assemble Nissan vehicles for the Filipino market. Ang benefit nito sa motoring public is really going to be uh, in terms of the total buying experience. No? Uh, we really want to redefine what Nissan is about. No? Pag tinanong mo Nissan sa merkado, ang unang babanggitin sa'yo, pinakamalamig na aircon sa merkado, Nissan. No? There's no question about that. But we are more than that. Eh. And what we would like to do is be able to highlight this to the customer because what when they buy the car, they're actually buying a total package. So from the time they go to our showrooms, to the time that they buy, to the time that they have their vehicle serviced, what we want to do is be able to consolidate this experience and be able to provide all the benefits in terms of value to the customer. As one cohesive entity, all will work together to successfully achieve Nissan's global standards. We are one and easy to give the strong message to the customer directly. Until now, is we have a two. Therefore, sometimes like a complex and like a duplicate happen. But from now on, we are only one brand, one company. Therefore, easy to talk to the dealer, talk to the customer to contribute to this market. This year, Nissan sets its sights on a bigger market share, recognizing immense potential in the Philippines and a concomitant need for a stronger presence in the country. The fundamental role of Nissan Philippines will be to strengthen the branding, marketing, and sales strategy and dealer operations. NPI is headed by its president and managing director, Kenji Naito, who has 29 years' experience with Nissan and has held key positions in various markets, including Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, and Thailand. Prior to his post in the Philippines, Naito served as CEO of Nissan Korea Company in Seoul, Korea. The launch was also attended by top Nissan Motor Company Limited executives Toshiyuki Shiga, Vice Chairman, and Takao Katagiri, Executive Vice President. It's no doubt that you know, the, the Filipino market will, will grow, uh, and rate of growth is probably higher than the other market uh, growth, uh, growth rate. In Asian market, we will study very, very carefully what is the best for the customers in the Philippines. Uh, we're going to bring them to here uh, so that they will be happy, and if they are happy, we can grow here. So that's that's the thing which uh, we want to do from now. For a start, NPI introduced its new global sedan, the Silphi, which is now sold in 120 markets worldwide, along with its flagship, the new Altima, which is set to raise the bar and elevate customers' expectations from a mid-size sedan. The Silphi is powered by a 1.8-liter and 1.6-liter engine, matched with a new generation Nissan Xtronic CVT or Continuously Variable Transmission. 
Silpi prices start at 812,000 pesos for the base 1.6 liter manual transmission to 998,000 pesos for the upper CVT. The new generation Nissan Altima comes in a highly sophisticated 2.5 liter twin cam 16 valve 4 cylinder engine. Along with variable valve timing and Nissan's electronic concentrated control system or ECCS, the Altima 2.5 SV has 180 horsepower and 243 newton meters of torque. The other variant has a powerful 3.5 liter SL engine with 270 horsepower and 340 newton meters of torque. Both cars boast of latest innovations in performance, convenience, and safety. Suzuki has launched two new motorcycle models at its FI Revolution held at Shangri-La Hotel in Makati. According to Suzuki, FI means fuel injection, which translates to performance, more power, and less consumption. This is what the company offers for their new fuel-injected motors. The product offering would be a fuel injection system that actually gives the Philippine market maximum power and maximum fuel efficiency. So as we have shared a while ago, uh, this uh, model actually gives 69.9 kilowatts um, performance at 7,500 RPM, which is actually the biggest or highest when compared to one to even to even higher CC models. So the power is really guaranteed. Their new models, Suzuki Shooter 125 and the Suzuki Raider J113, possess powerful torque and better performance. For the Shooter 115, we categorize it more of the leisure market. So, uh, target segments would be those who are more practical, who actually wants an easy riding because the design of which is more uncomfortable ride. Um, comfortable ride. When compared to Raider J115, this actually caters on sports, of course. Uh, those who are more aggressive, uh, given also that the design is really geared towards into some sort of racing. I'd like to invite everybody to please uh, uh, watch out for our models. It's Shooter 115 and Raider J115 FI. This is already made available in all dealer stores nationwide. And please do watch out for um, the FI Revolution campaign that we'll be doing. So um, one of which uh, for the consumers is already a free helmet consumer promotion and free t-shirt for every purchase of these models. In other news, Ford Philippines has announced its best ever performance for the month of February with overall retail sales rising 48% year over year to 1,277 units. Sales gain is spearheaded by the Rangers' best ever monthly performance complemented by strong sales performances from the Everest, Explorer, and Fiesta models. Ford is currently staging its Echo Sport Roadshow that includes test drive of the all-new Echo Sport Compact SUV at major malls nationwide. Meanwhile, Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated, official distributor of Hyundai vehicles in the country, started the year on high gear with an impressive 13% growth year-on-year. Sales hit a total of 2,243 units up from the 1,992 units sold in the same period last year. The passenger car segment recorded an outstanding 17% growth in sales soaring to a total of 1,447 units in January against the 1,236 units in the same month last year. Sales in the light commercial vehicle segment experienced a 5% surge to total 796 units from the 756 units sold in January 2013. And so goes our auto news update. Auto Review will be back. Stay with us.
the all-new Isuzu D-MAX. Welcome back to Auto Review and on our Isuzu segment we go all the way to Ilocos Norte and we are here at the Pauai Sand Dunes to test drive the Isuzu D-MAX 4x4. Sand dunes form some of the most spectacular landforms on Earth. Science tells us that every sand dune is produced with the interaction of the wind with the wind soil in the form of grains in sand. Hawaii in Ilocos Norte is blessed to have plenty of these. And during a drive with Isuzu Philippines Corporation, we were able to try out the off-road prowess of the 4x4 Isuzu D-MAX. The Pauai Sand Dunes area is about 240 hectares wide and going there gives one a taste of a desert. No trees and vegetation, no source of fresh water. The place is one of the favorite locations of Pandai, produced and starred by the late Fernando Po Jr. This time, a different star was on shoot as the Isuzu D-MAX 4x4 braved the soft sands in front of enthusiasts and spectators. We are going to uh, Hawaii uh, sand dunes. So we demonstrated our D-MAX advanced 4x4 system and enjoy the driving and the fun. Soon we had enough on just being spectators. So we went behind the wheel of the D-MAX 4x4, driving first-hand in the treacherous sand dunes. We were third to plunge in the sand after the ceremonial drive by IPC President Nobuo Izumina. And a daring fast drive by off-road veteran B-Boy Vargas of Manila Times. With Dino Director of Manila Standard today as my co-driver, we drove the pickup truck slowly to the June's makeshift entrance and increased our speed as I felt the vehicle's traction was holding on the sand. We were doing well with just a slight foot press on the pedal, increasing the pace when going uphill and trying to avoid doing short circles on the sand. It was an exhilarating drive with the sand dunes serving as our playground for more than two hours. Thanks to the new D-MAX's four-wheel drive terrain command select dial, it allows the driver to switch from 4x2 to 4x4 high mode even while traveling at speeds of up to 100 km per hour. The truck boasts an approach angle of 30 degrees and a departure angle of 22.7 degrees and can be tilted sideways on a 49 degree slope. 
It is also equipped with a limited slip differential and has one of the highest ground clearances among pickups. And along with 17-inch tires, the truck is very suitable over unpaved and flooded roads. More of the 4x4 experience with the D-Max up north next week. On to our Mazda Sky Active in Motion. The Mazda CX-5 is a compact crossover SUV produced by Mazda Motor Corporation in Japan starting in 2012 for the 2013 model year lineup. It is Mazda's first vehicle that features the new Kodo or Soul of Motion Design language first shown at the Shinari Concept Vehicle in May 2010. It shares platform with Mazda 3 and Mazda 6. It is also the first vehicle featuring the company's full Skyactiv technology suite featuring a rigid, lightweight platform combined with a new series of efficient engines and transmissions resulting in reduced emissions and fuel consumption. Truly, the CX-5 is an award-winning vehicle as it is Japan's Car of the Year for two years. In the Philippines, the Mazda CX-5 also garnered honors last year as well as the recent 2013-2014 Car of the Year. The compact two-wheel drive crossover and wagon of the year for the Mazda CX-5 2.0 Pro and the compact all-wheel drive crossover and wagon of the year for the Mazda CX-5 2.5 AWD. We're very grateful to Kagi for giving us, um, us this award for the CX-5. Uh, as you know, uh, we just launched uh, this uh, particular CX-5 model this year and we've had very good uh, response from the market and I guess this is just a testament to, to how good the product really is. Alright, and uh, for the two-wheel drive? Uh, yep. Uh, Thank you again to Kagi for this uh, award and we're very appreciative of this, uh, especially that we got both uh, two-wheel and uh, all-wheel drive uh, uh, best in uh, compact crossover.
Volkswagen Philippines under Ayala Companies Automobile Central Enterprise Incorporated officially inaugurated its first showroom at Bonifacio Global City in Taguig. In attendance for the opening were Ayala Corporation Chairman and CEO Jaime Augusto Zobel de Ayala and President and COO Fernando Zobel de Ayala. The new showroom boasts a floor area of more than 6,000 square meters with its key feature, the interactive showroom application, a unique platform developed for the Volkswagen Hong Kong showroom and is comprised of interactive tables, essentially desk-sized iPads, and actual iPads for browsing car features or scheduling test drives. Because uh, Volkswagen is known for technology and innovation, we decided to accompany it with digital showroom technology, which we call Volkswagen Interactive Showroom. Uh, basically, it allows the customer to do all, um, learn more about our cars, learn more about the technology, learn more about our company um, through active, interactive uh, displays. We have a V-table, uh, which they can actually um, play with in terms of looking at models, car colors, um, interiors, they can compare cars, etc. Colombian Auto Car Corporation, exclusive distributor of Kia Motors in the Philippines, expressed their intention to join the Philippine Basketball Association, the country's premier basketball league. If everything comes into fruition, it will mark the first entry of a car brand in the league since 1983. Through a letter of intent sent to the PBA board, Gina Domingo, CAC president, said that Kia and CAC have always been steadfast in their commitment to the promotion and development of various sports initiatives in the Philippines and all over the world. As we all know, Kia Motors Corporation has been a staunch supporter of world-class sporting events such as the NBA, the Australian Open, and FIFA World Cup. And it is fitting to bring this level of involvement in the country's number one sport, basketball. In the Philippines, Kia has actively supported the growth of football through its sponsorship of the Philippine Ascals, the national men's football team, as well as the development of the sport through the Kia Cup, its annual football festival. Should Kia get into the PBA, the car company definitely will live up to being the brand with the power to surprise. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we bring to a close another edition of Auto Review. We hope you enjoyed it. We would like to thank Isuzu Philippines Corporation for inviting us to join their media test drive of the all-new Isuzu D-Max here in Ilocos Norte. And it's really good to visit Pawai San Junes again. Until next week at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron Delosay saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week.